Hey everybody. I woke up this morning feeling really depressed. Um, yeah, really, really, really depressed. And yeah, I'm just very triggered into very lonely, sad, depressed patterns. A lot of childhood stuff, which I think is perfect for what I want to discuss today, which is that enlightenment is not what you think it is. You probably have an image of enlightenment in your head. I know I did, which is nothing like the reality of the situation. And that's what we're going to discuss today. All right, let's get started. Intro. I spent a good portion of this lifetime working to wake up. I worked really hard at it. Meditation, yoga, ritual, everything that I could possibly think of that felt right to help move me further and further along toward awakening. It was the driving force of my life. I was a seeker. And I had this idea of enlightenment. I thought that when I crossed the finish line, awakening that I was going to know everything and everything was going to be beautiful and I was going to be a state of utter bliss and I would never worry about anything ever again and I would be walking the planet healing everyone that I encountered and um, cat hair that's not exactly how it, it turned out to be as I mentioned in the last video I was in a state of utter bliss and peace for a couple of weeks and then the personality structure came back in giving me the experience of living a process of working back toward that place that I had encountered for a brief moment. And in the meantime, my personality structure is still my personality structure. Life is still life. Certain things changed forever. Certain things changed dramatically, but other things are still just exactly the same. And it's kind of a slow crawl <laughs> back to where I'd like to be. There's this gap between the level of awareness that I awoke to and my everyday experience. And from what I understand, that's just the way it is. We have to learn to relax into that. And that's a part of the process to not worry about that gap, to not judge yourself for the fact that there is a gap, to be compassionate with yourself or you are a human being in the process of unfolding. It would be great if we could snap our fingers and everything would be magically wonderful, but it doesn't seem to work that way. A teacher that I listen to a lot that I'd really like to recommend to you is Adi Ashanti adiashanti.org, and he has a YouTube channel with a lot of great videos on it. He is definitely further along this process than I am, and I find him super inspiring. Whenever I start to feel really crazy and caught up in the negative patterns of my personality structure, I often will put on one of his videos or recordings and listen to him. I find that it helps me to relax more into this moment and into my unique experience. Each of us is having a completely unique experience with this. Yes, there are certain universal things such as a lot of people experience the glimpse of being everything and then back down to the smallness while still connected to the everything. And then there's an unfolding process that follows after that. But your unfolding process is gonna be completely different from everyone else's. Your personality structure is going to affect how that unfolding process goes. Whether or not you can relax into this experience, how much you can relax into this experience, is gonna affect how this unfolding process goes. So remember, it's up to you. The more meditation you do, the less judgment that you have for yourself, the more compassion you have for yourself, the easier and more fluid this process is going to be. Awesome, thanks for watching. If you liked, please hit like below and subscribe to the channel. I'm really grateful that you're here. I love you very much and I hope that you are having a beautiful day. Peace.